Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today I'm bringing you a quick overview and installation of the Petters Sports Rider Rear Shock, available for all 2005 to 2014 Mustangs. In this video, we'll be going over the benefits you can expect from this rear shock to your performance handling and suspension, as well as all the materials and construction. I'll top the video off with the installation, which I'll let you know up front here, we'll get a two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, not because it's a hard install at all, but it is a little bit more involved than a direct bolt-on. The Petters Sports Rider Rear Shock, which I have here today, will be for any 05 to 14 Mustang owner who might be looking for a direct fit replacement to a factory shock that might have gone bad over the years. Now with that said, on top of it being a direct fit replacement, it is going to be a non-adjustable option, giving you no you know, variation in tuning if you wanted to adjust. There are other options out there for that, but this is going to be one of the more simpler options, being just a step up over a completely OEM stock replacement. On top of that, it is also going to be a little bit more budget friendly than some of the other options out there, and it's really just going to be able to fit any budget looking for a good replacement shock. Now when you're shopping around for a replacement shock for the rear end of your S197, you'll notice there are quite a few options out there ranging in pricing and of course the ranging in adjustability. There's going to be the more simpler options that do have a fixed damperage, which is something like this one, the Petters, the Coney's, the STRTs, things of that nature, but there are also a little bit more step up if you're going for an adjustability option. Now in that case, you'll be looking at Coney yellows and things of that nature. This one's going to fall on the more simpler side along with the Coney STRTs, giving you a price affordable to almost any budget out there looking for a direct fit replacement, while also upgrading your suspension and handling performance just a little bit over the OEM options. Now in my personal experience, I've only ever driven Mustangs with either a stock suspension or Coney STRT's shocks and struts. The Petter Sports Rider is actually going to fall exactly on par with those Coney's, so I can tell you firsthand that they are going to be an extremely comfortable ride, giving you a pretty much upgraded suspension over OEM replacements. Now it does give you a steel tube gas pressurized design, something very common in the aftermarket world for shocks, so honestly you can expect a really good direct fit replacement here with an affordable price tag, and that goes for the Coney's as well. One thing I do want to mention though is if you're looking to have a more precise and accurate fine tuning to give you something of a personal preference on the fly, you might want to check out some of the adjustability options, but if you're really not looking for that extra step to go that extra mile with price tags, then honestly the adjustability might not be for you. Adjustable options are going to be more for the guys out there looking to fine tune it if you're going on the street, the drag strip, maybe the track every now and then, just to give you a little bit of a difference with the different scenarios you've been driving in. If you're not really looking for that and you're just kind of a daily driver looking for a direct fit replacement to kind of upgrade it a little bit, the Petters option would definitely be for you. As far as the price tag, I did mention a second ago that the price kind of stays the same for some of the aftermarket options that are non-adjustable, and this is going to be no different. It'll fall right in the $80 range, which in all honesty is a very normal price tag, so if you're looking to get an individual shock in the aftermarket world, this is going to be something you can expect on the regular. When it comes down to actually replacing your blown out or damaged rear shock from an accident, it really isn't too much to handle. Now, I did give it a two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter because it is a little bit more stepped up from just say a cold air intake. Now with that said, simple hand tools on deck are all you'll need, a jack and jack stands or a lift if you have access to one, and of course a simple ratchet and socket set will get the job done. Overall, it shouldn't take you longer than about 45 minutes or so to get the job done start to finish, and again, two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. So to get this job done, obviously you want to jack the car up and support it on jack stands and remove the rear wheel. Once you get the wheel off, the caliper and rotor assembly have to drop down, which is just a couple of bolts here and there, just to gain access to the rear shock. Now from here, you will have to jack up the rear differential just to make sure you're relieving the pressure off of the bottom shock bolt. From there, you can actually pop open your trunk and push away your trunk liner to gain access to the bolt at the top of the shock tower. That's the first bolt you'll want to remove in the process, just unbolting that using your simple ratchet and socket set. Heading down to the bottom, remove the bolt at the bottom of your factory shock and you'll be able to pull that completely out of the vehicle. Put the new Petters Sports Rider option into place, replace that exact same bolt, tighten it down to spec, you know, go right back up to the top of the shock tower and replace that bolt as well. From there, you can make sure everything's torqued down the spec, drop the jack stand from the bottom of the differential, put everything back together and you're good to go. Again, overall 45 minutes or so on the install, two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Just to wrap it up here, if you're the owner of an 05 to 14 Mustang, you might be looking for an affordable way to replace a blown out shock right at the rear end of your S197. If that's the case and you're looking for something that does not have any adjustability to keep it on the more simple side, but gives you an upgrade over the factory OEM options, you might be looking for the Petters Sports Rider Rear Shock, which is available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.